Mm. I love my mom. I'm so afraid of what she will think of me. I never stole from her before, but she is going to be mad when and if she finds out. But my first thing is that I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to say this. Give me your mom's number and I'll call her and tell her. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Erica. Please subscribe and hit the notifications bell. I love to have you become a part of the eFam. So let me tell you guys what we're eating today. So I have some prawns. I have some mega prawns. Let me get that right. I have some mega prawns, some lobster tails, some sausage. I have some uh, rice, some cucumbers with some uh, ranch. And then I have my e-special sauce right here, y'all. So I'm going to get started eating because I'm hungry. And I also have a strawberry letter, an e-letter, a topic, whatever you want to call it, I received. So I'm going to be reading that for you guys today. And I don't know why my nose is itching, but let's get started eating. I haven't had this combo in a long time, a long time. Y'all, so I am excited for this. Why do I got to be so much mess? I guess it's not, oh, I guess it's not as good if it's not messy, y'all. Put this over here. I hope you're all having a good one, a good Monday, a good old Monday. I am so for I got my lobster tail, y'all see. I don't think that comment look comment below and let me know if you have a big seafood market where you live because my seafood market y'all it is the bomb it got all the seafood all the fish lobster lobster town it got all that stuff look at this sauce y'all i got y'all i got y'all on the sauce i'm serious i forgot my lemon slimes but mm. Now today the sauce isn't spicy, but it's hot like from stove hot. I don't know lobster tail is so bomb. I ain't got no sh uh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind, y'all. I was about to say I don't got no shrimp, but I got mega prawns instead of shrimp today. That's what I got. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I told you I got that sauce coming for y'all this week. I'm going to move these prawns because I want to see that sauce. I'm gonna eat one of these. So I hope you're all having a very good day, a good evening. That's what it will be. Good evening. Oh, this is hot, y'all. I don't never have my sauce like temperature hot. I don't never have it always hot like that. It always be like spicy hot. Mm-mm-mm. 
Give me some big prawns, y'all. Mega prawns. Mm. I don't like when my sauce is like really hot because it has, it has a chance to like really thicken up. So I don't really like it real hot. I like it to be like at room temperature. This is also the shout out to Kim Da. For the sausage, cucumber, and rice recipe. If y'all haven't tried this, it's so good together. Oh, I got a piece of hair on there. If it's hair on there, ain't nobody but mine. I got it off of there. That's nasty. That is so nasty. I'm gonna use a spoon for this is. I got all those onions, y'all. Now today I used um, this slicer I got to um, cut the onions, so they're really, really thin, thinner than I would cut them. But I don't like them this thin, so I will, I will be going back to chopping them myself. <laughs> Three lobster tails though. Okay. Eat one. To get into this letter, y'all. Get into this letter. Make sure y'all send y'all strawberry letters. Y'all want me to read them. Man, this would be so bomb with some lemon, man. But I don't I want to get up and cut none. I forgot about one. So good, y'all. I'm gonna really just let her. Oh, yeah. It's good with this sauce and the ranch. Did I tell you I had ranch? I don't know if I did or not. But my cucumbers were in ranch. See? Man, it's so good. I can't even stop eating. That lobster tail was a mouthful, literally, y'all. <clears throat> Last week, I took money from my mom's purse without asking. I really needed it to pay back a friend who said she didn't have any money to get back and forth to work because she thought I was going to pay her back in time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I couldn't pay her back because I didn't have any money either. My mother was going crazy trying to figure out where she spent $150. 
I feel really bad and afraid to tell her because she's a very into church woman. That's what it says. She's a very into church woman who is who will disown me for stealing. I love my mom. I'm so afraid of what she will think of me. I never stole from her before, but she is going to be mad when and if she finds out. What should I do? All right. First of all, I don't know if this is a man or woman who wrote this to me. So I don't, I just know it's, I'm assuming it's a woman because they said she, but I mean, guys have female friends too, so I don't know. But my first thing is that I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to say this. Give me your mom's number and I'll call her and tell her. What did you think I was going to say? What do you think that anybody's going to say? You want to say, don't tell your mom that she stole her money? Oh, that spice. I think it's the pepper on her. You need to tell your mom. Because <clears throat> if she's an older woman, she probably really going crazy. And you don't want to make her go crazy like that. And I think you just need to be honest and tell her what the situation was. And I think if you probably would have told her that from the beginning, I don't think that she would have been mad. I think she probably would have been like, you know, I mean, I think you know your mom. So you probably, she probably, you probably thought that she'd tell you, no, she's not going to give it to you. But that doesn't give you right to steal from her. I think you need to tell your mom to steal her money. I think you need to give her her money back. Even if you tell her that you can't give it all to her at once, if you have, if you have to make payments on giving her money back, I think you need to give your mom her money back and tell her the honest to God truth why you stole her, or stole her money. It's already bad because it's already a week. You said a week ago, last week. Give me your mom's number. I'll, I'll tell her you stole the money. I'll tell her. I'll tell your mom. Just give me your number. Go ahead and smash it. If you're watching this video right now, after you watch this video, because you need to hear the advice that I'm giving you. You need to tell your mom. And you need to pay your mom her money back. I mean, I bet you didn't tell your friend. You stole money from your mom to pay her money back. And if you did, that's wrong that she even knows that you did that too. Stealing is not the way. I'm just going to tell anybody who's thinking or wants to steal or steals. It's not good to steal. It's not good to steal. And if you can't borrow money from somebody and pay them back, then you don't even borrow money from people. Because you obviously, $150 is a lot to owe somebody. That is a lot to owe somebody. That's a lot to owe your mom. That's a lot to owe your friend that you had to steal from. Your mom pay her back. My answer is pretty plain and simple. Tell your mom you stole that money so she won't be going crazy. Don't borrow money from somebody if you can't pay them back. And don't steal. From nobody. I 
I hope you didn't think I was going to say anything else. Like, I hope you didn't think I was going to say, don't tell your mom. I'd be free as any. And she probably will think something, think about, like, her mouth will probably go somewhere else. And she'll probably be angry and probably wonder if you ever stole from her before. But you got to be honest. And tell her you're wrong. Tell her what you've done wrong. And you're right. She probably won't really care about the reason why you did. But don't matter what her response is, you got to tell your mom you stole her money. I'm trying to way to make it right, get her money back. I ate all those lobster tails. Mm, yeah, I got four. Mm. I don't remember. Oh, see, man. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, so she or he, whatever, whoever it is that emailed me that. That's my take on it. That's what I think you should do. Excuse me. Uh, anybody else that has any more else to tell this person what to do, please do so in the comments. I know how it is because moms do. I'd be pissed off if my son stole from me. Pissed off. Pissed off, but I wouldn't want him to do it. I'd be mad that he did it, but I'd be I would feel a lot better that once he made that mistake, he owned up to it. Would I have my personal room? Yeah. <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that. What? Just tell your mom the truth. And anybody else who wanted to give some advice, please give them some advice in the comments. And I thank everybody who sent in the uh, topic so far. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I really enjoyed them. So everybody, if anybody else got something they wants to discuss, please send it in. You can, you can email me or DM me on Instagram. Oh, man. I'm getting full, y'all. Getting so full. I got one prawn left. Mm, I can't ever see a prawn unless I look in that monitor. So I got one prawn and some sausage. I'm full. Though. I can't eat nothing else. I was going in on that food. I was so hungry. <laughs> I was so hungry, y'all. I don't know. That topic is really crazy and really honest because... Well, it's not a topic. It, it's a scenario. It is the truth. They done stole from their mom. Scared to tell their mom. You know, to pay back. I don't know. I remember one time. The guy I was dealing with. I had gave him money to go pay my insurance. My car insurance. And he was like, you know, I'll go pay the insurance for you. Don't worry about it. I got it. I'll take care of it. You don't got to worry about mailing it out. You know, I'll handle it for you. The insurance company called me like, it was like probably like a month later. And it was like, uh, we're calling about your missed payment. You know, your insurance is about to lapse. So we're trying to call it today to get a payment. And I'm like, I already paid. You know, I paid it. I paid it on time, you know. They was like, we haven't received the payment since you know, whatever, whatever date it was. And this was like 
almost two months, like because the month that the month that it was due, they told me that the last payment was like a month or two ago. So I'm just sitting there like, you know, I'm confused. And then I thought about, I was like, oh my gosh, I gave him my insurance money. And I called him, I said, I gave you the money to pay my insurance. Did you pay the insurance? And this was just, this, this was just the same thing. He told me he didn't pay my insurance because he owed his mom money. So he didn't pay my insurance, let my insurance lapse. Well, it didn't lapse yet. It was about to. Because he had owed his mom some money. So he stole from me and I didn't even know the whole time I thought the bill was taken care of. I thought everything was all good until they called me and he told me he didn't pay it because he had to pay his mom back. So this group, so this guy or this man or woman didn't, they stole from her mom to pay their friend back. So it's like the same kind of scenario. And I was so mad. So I can only imagine how the mom's gonna feel because if she has anything to pay with that or anything you know what I'm saying like you don't know what your mom had to do with that money you like setting her back and then you got her going crazy thinking she lost it or whatever she knows she didn't spend it she that's why she's going crazy because she knows she didn't spend it and she knew that she had $150 that's missing and that's like the messed up part about it is that you sitting there just watching her go crazy and not knowing where her money went when you stole it and that's how what happened to me. I was like, when the people called me, I was blindsided. And I was like, I paid that bill. You know, I'm like going off on them like, what are you talking about? Like, y'all need to look again. Like, I paid that. And I never thought the person was still for me. So I didn't even think, you know, right away. I didn't think like that the person just didn't pay it. I didn't think that. So, yeah, y'all. So y'all leave y'all <laughs> opinion on this in the description box. Um, I'm about to get out of here because I'm full. And... The camera's going to cut off in a little bit. So I'm about to get out of here. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you become a part of the E-Fam. The E-Fam, we over here reading topics and discussing stuff and all that. Eating good. <laughs> all that, y'all. All that. I got went to bed late and got up early, so I'm really, really tired. So yeah, y'all, that's it. And like I said, the sauce is coming this week. I'm excited. I'm so excited to bring y'all this special sauce. And um, yeah, y'all, that's it. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Until then, bye-bye. The worst part about all of this is cleaning up. Because I always got to clean all the stuff up and wash dishes and all this other stuff. That's the, this is, that's the worst part of this whole thing is cleaning up that's the part I hate so I'm cleaning this stuff up and then I gotta take this makeup off my face because I don't want it on me anymore I ain't got no corner I got stuff on my teeth that's another thing I'm gonna go floss and brush my teeth too I always gotta do that every time floss and brush my teeth because there's so much stuff stuck in my teeth I'm gonna go to the dentist next week and they're gonna be like what were you you know what do you be eating? What do you be eating? Alright guys, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye!